got a little cold last night and I stupidly left my filter out, but I put it in a tree and everything here is just fine. Filter works just fine. Look at the water. It doesn't even look like it got cold last night. It's pretty crazy what a tree can do to save your water filter. So tonight, I'll be sleeping with it because my filter could have easily been this this morning and I would have had no filter. So, yeah, rookie mistake even though I knew better. Sleep with your water filter if it's getting cold at night. That's my PSA for the morning. Time for coffee. Time to fish. Um, it's still pretty cold, but I'm starting to see activity out there. So I'm gonna throw a nymph first and then maybe some top water. We'll see. But it looks like the fish are waking up. It's very cold still. But anyways, I came over to the meadow side. So I got the meadow behind me. Uh, I found more bear prints leading up to the water, so definite bear activity out here. Um, they're old, nothing fresh. Anyways, get my fish on. Let's hope for some fishies. I'm stoked. Okay, let's put them back in. I can't believe I just caught that on camera. Woo! My first lake rookie. I'm pumped. Um, I changed my fly. I can't find it. I switched to I switched to this little dry fly. Uh, I saw them all coming to the surface. So I matched that. That was probably my third cast with this fly. And glad I was recording. That was cool. Is a little bit smaller than the last one. All right, rookie number two. There he is. Beautiful. All right, back in we go. Oh. Woo! Beautiful. A little bit darker. Stunning. All right. Wow. He hit that as soon as it hit the water. Oh boy.
icy. A little bit smaller. Icy there. Four. All right, back in we go. Okay, I'm gonna head back to camp. It's 10 o'clock and four fish in about two hours. And those last four probably came in the last 45 minutes. I'm roasting, I'm still in my sleepy gear for the 25 degrees it was last night. So I'm gonna go change, maybe do my hair. I haven't even done that yet. And uh, I just left my fishing gear over here. I'm gonna come right back, keep at it. So anyways, good morning so far. This is, I'm stoked. And it doesn't appear anyone else is here to fish. In fact, those other people, for all I know, packed up and left. Uh, I have not heard them for a while. So yeah, I recommend Nelson Lake. Heading back to fish. I am fishing over there on that side. It's a little bit deeper, there's a little drop off. I don't know if you can tell here, it's pretty shallow, pretty far out. So definitely the marsh side, meadow side, I should say. This is a good place to fish. The wind's blowing at me. So I kind of got to find a lull in the wind to cast straight out. Also why I started when it was freezing this morning because I had a feeling the winds were going to pick up this afternoon. You're gonna run? Go for it. And tire yourself out. Yeah, you wanna run? Oh, buddy, come on. Number five, not a bad day. This guy hit as soon as the fly hit the water. Smashed it. He's not putting up much of a fight. I'm wondering if I caught him already. Hi. Oh. Hi. Hi there. Number six, but who's keeping track, right? Not me. Come on. Time to come in. Come on.
pet bud. spit it out. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on before you get that on you. Hang on. Let's get this out of here, okay? Hang on. There we go. Cool. I'm telling you. Um, everyone has their own beliefs, but I am a believer in barbless sucks. If I lose a couple of fish because of it, oh well. Uh, the fact that almost, I'd say half of these guys will spit them out when they hit the net. It was awesome. Anyways, here's number 10, right? Is that where we're at? Are you keeping track at home? This guy's a little bit smaller, but beautiful colors nonetheless. I don't know if you can see, you're probably on the sun right behind me. Beautiful colors on top. Stunning, stunning. All right, bud. It's one o'clock. Uh, the fishing has died down a little bit. I have one, just as I was about to net it, the fly popped out of his mouth. So no worries on that. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to head back to camp, hang out for a little bit, relax. I've been on my feet two straight days now. So, and I got to hike out of here tomorrow. So I'm going to go relax. Maybe take a nap. I didn't sleep too well last night. And I purposely left my flyer out over here so I would have to come back. So I'll probably come back around three. The wind's picking up really bad too. Even if I just get a few more casts in. Um, and then that'll be it for the day. So yeah, good day. Uh, no complaints on my part. How can you when you're in a place like this? And or catching brook trout non-stop. Good day. I took a little detour. I found the inlet to Nelson and there's a lot of fish in here. They're just little guys though. I saw one decent one. They're pretty spooked too. Let's see if I can sneak up on them over here. How beautiful is this though? Oh my God. Starting off. Spooky little fish. Oh, you see him? Oh. Our next generation of brookies. Definitely not fishing them. I was just curious. Number 12. Again, I don't think there's such thing as an ugly brookie. Alright, 13. Number 14. Those colors.
15. Hey, bud. Number 15. kind of getting camp ready for bedtime and making things easy because it's going to be for a reason in the morning when I'm packing up. So yeah, a nice and relaxing afternoon after this awesome day fishing on Nelson Lake in the Yosemite backcountry. So yeah, highly recommend you come out here, but remember, download your maps, do some research before you come out here because it's it's, a, it's an adventure to get out here, but very doable. Just do your research. All right, I hear fishies jumping as we speak out here. <sighs> Pretty sure I could have fished through the night and would have caught stuff all day, but that's okay. I'm heading out. It's 7 a.m. I'm all packed up. Very cold again, but uh, yeah, hopefully I can get this hike done within about five hours. The trail up to the pass is a little bit of a more gradual grade. I think it's still gonna kick my butt, but um, yeah, starting out with that bushwhacking over the granite to get up and over the lake into that Echo Creek meadow area. So good to start right off with some navigation. Anyways, let's go. I'm at the Cathedral Peaks Pass. Uh, did it under two hours from the lake. Um, yeah, Tuolumne Meadows down that way. Where I just came from down that way. All downhill from here. I am pumped. I'll get a better shot of Lambert down when I come over too. I was not feeling very well on the way up last time. So yeah. Hard part's over with for the day.
to point that out earlier. That's unicorn peak right there. Yeah, cool. Totally forgot. I didn't even look for it. It's uh, normally a good thing to look at when you're at Elizabeth Lake. Anyways, I am trudging through this. I am going to bypass Elizabeth Lake because I've already seen it. And I want to get to my car because I also have a five hour drive ahead of me to get home. I'm making killer timing though, so keep that in mind. It seemed like a lot harder to get to the lake than coming back. So yeah, anyways, almost there. I made it to Tioga Road. It's 11.14, so I did this in less than four hours. It took me five and a half to get to Nelson on Friday, so cut down some time. I'm exhausted. Now to hop in a car and drive for five hours. But, uh, awesome weekend. I... Wow, was, it was really magical. I had a wonderful time. So yeah, hope you enjoyed.